Ladies and gentlemen, you see now a picture of Prophet Jeremiah Omo Tofufuyi. Now I see so, aka Omo Woman One, the senior pastor, Mercy Land the Deliverance Ministry for Worry. Before I talk anything about this pastor, because what he just do now, bless with me, where, where? Yes, bless with me. But before I tell you now, what he do, see this video. The Public Relations Officer, Zone 5, Benin City, DSP Tijani Momo, said the woman named Ruth Matthew alleged that the founder, Messiland Deliverance Ministry, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufei, had a hand in the kidnapping of her child in February 2019 after attending a program at the church in Efurunwari, Delta State. DSP Momo confirmed that a petition was written to AIG Zone 5, Benin, on her behalf, and a counter petition was later written by the church authority, and after thorough investigation, the woman was found to have conspired and given false information to the police, charged to court, and found guilty. Both petitions were harmonized and consolidated for discrete investigation. After police investigation, Ruth Martin was found to have conspired and to have given false information to the police and was therefore charged to court on a 13 count charge. The court found the defendant guilty as charged for making false information to a public officer and for publishing defamatory statements against the founder of Messiland Deliverance Ministry Prophet Jeremiah Motofufe. She was subsequently sentenced to three months imprisonment or an option of fine of 20,000 naira. The defendant was also cautioned and warned. One of the counsels holding watching briefs at the trial, Barrister Timio Bibowe, comments on the proceedings of the prosecution at the court. When direct questions were put to her, she said it was because she was angry that the church did not do what she expected the church to do for her. That's you see, um, this is a video of uh, a news report we carry the news of our Prophet Jeremiah at his sentence one route to three months for Jete. Reason being that the woman laid false accusation against the pastor and conspired against the pastor and all of those things. Now, you see, the reason why they are peace. A lot of times, when people hurt pastors, when people hurt ministers, ah, it's man of God, they'll just overlook. It's so, okay, let's leave the person alone, they go overlook. Let's leave the person alone, they go overlook. Then it's now a trend. Anybody will just get anything to talk, they will come in their space, begin to abuse pastor, begin to lie, begin to talk different, different things. As they use this one, I tell you, do scapegoat now. I think some people will learn. And again, I will encourage Nigeria pastors. Anybody will step on your feet. Make una carry the enter jet, especially when you are innocent of that crime, whether they allegate against you or whether they allege against you, as the case may be. Because if things like this does not happen often, people will just wake up one day and start coming out to do all manner of things. Like all those people now will go testify against TB Joshua one or two. I know if Prophet Joshua was alive, he no go do anything, go you keep quiet. Even all these disciples will they talk up and down. If I don't call of them, say nobody should make a comment. Let's leave the fight for God, which is good. Sometimes we gotta leave the fight for God. But again, sometimes some people gotta go through the right part of the law. Because even for Bible, Jesus Christ carried Cain. He disciplined some people. Yes, now. He carried Cain, he flogged some people because they misbehave. We are supposed to pray. They turn out to be for the bear and sell. See, Nigeria pastors, I beg you now, I de beg you now, where, where, me on a leg thing, they very strong, me they pull leg for ground. There are some people that when they are bringing up some issue, if they are talking any, any form of defamation of whatever, me they, they go in for it. Because this excessive defamation from different corners has made the Christian society in Nigeria uh, now a thing of child's play. Anybody can wake up in the morning to insult the Christian. Anybody can wake up in the morning to do anything simply because uh, the Christian society you know they take action. Now, now, Prophet Jeremiah now don't take action against this one. If you know so I had a shake, more now continue. I, I pray, may Apostle Suleiman, may the rest begin to take action against some people. You understand? People like them that the freeze, okay, pastors are thieves, pastors are thieves. May they charge and go court, may they go prove to court our pastor to be thief. Yes, now. Whether they steal from his pocket. Whether they take money from his pocket, then he will go explain, give government. We are in a nation where the constitution says everybody can worship. And in church, where they pay tithe, they pay offering, they pay all manner of payment, nobody they place anybody under duress. Person talk, you believe, you pay, then you say it's still from you. 
And if you know, say you know what, they come up for the church. They know the you don't see person will come up for church. They constantly go use talks. They go the fact and for us if you not come church on Sunday. Now, voila. But simply because we are in a generation that do not love God, a generation that want to fight down the things of God, thinking say now God be their problem now. Yes, now we are in a generation that thinks that God is not their problem. They will say religion is the problem of this world now. Religion this, religion that. Okay, I have said it because before and I will say it again. Christianity is not a religion. Now just the way where human beings will fit a classify people with get system of belief. Now they they call a religion. And not be only Christianity be the religion where they the world. But why is it that we are in a generation that want to fight down Christianity? But you see, Jesus Christ has said it before. He said, upon this rock I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. The church of Christ must rise. Those of now they do not go by, will not go come out. Jesus Christ remain yesterday, today and forever. They're born, will not call me Jesus. Will not go stick by, leave the name Jesus. Jesus will continue to the reign they go. 